Hi, I'm Kelsey Brennan Wessels, and you are watching Earth from Space on the European Space Agency Web TV. This multi temporal Sentinel 1A radar image shows the Aral Sea, located on the border between Kazakhstan and Uzbekistan in Central Asia. The Aral Sea is a striking example of humankind's impact on the environment and natural resources. Once the world's fourth largest inland water body, it has lost around 90% of its water volume since 1960 because of Soviet-era irrigation schemes. As the water evaporated, it left behind a dry, white salt terrain, now called the Aral Karakum Desert. Each year, violent sandstorms pick up salt and sand from the desert and transport it across hundreds of kilometers, causing severe health problems for the local population and making regional winters colder and summers hotter. Chemicals in the dry plains from former weapons testing, industrial projects and fertilizer runoff exacerbates the effects of these storms on health. In addition, the area's fishing industry, which once employed tens of thousands of people, has been devastated. The World Bank and Kazakhstan has worked together to build the Kokaral Dike to stabilize the northern section of the sea. The Aral Sea's southern section, part of which is pictured here, was beyond saving and is projected to dry out completely by the end of this decade. This image was created by combining three radar scans from Sentinel-1A and assigning each a color red from October 17th of 2014, green from December 28th of 2014, and blue from February 14th of this year. In the lower right, the red, yellow, and green boomerang shape shows where water flows into the dry seabed from a river, and colors show how the area covered in water increased over time. Looking at the individual acquisitions separately, we can see the difference in water flow from October, December, and February images. Along the left side of the image, the large dark area shows where water is still present. Colors along the water's edge show water level changes between acquisitions. Red shows a lower level than blue, so the water level was lower on October 17th of 2014 than it was on February 14th of this year. Zooming in on the lower left corner, we can see the straight line of a road outside of the seabed, with white dots showing where the radar signal has reflected off of human-made structures. White dots also appear further east, showing where structures have been built inside of the seabed. And that brings us to the end of this edition of Earth from Space. Remember that we broadcast online every Friday at 10 o'clock Central European Time or Central European Summertime next week. You can watch us on our website or through the ESA app on your mobile device. From the ESA Web TV Studios, I'm Kelsey Brennan-Wessels.